In the last chapter, we talked about the inner body and a meditation technique to sense the energy within us. Now, let's deepen that experience through a simple meditation. It won't take much time, around 10 to 15 minutes should be enough. Before you start, ensure there are no distractions like phones or people who might interrupt you. Sit on a chair without leaning back. Keep your spine straight for alertness. Alternatively, pick a meditation position you like. Relax your body, close your eyes, and take a few deep breaths. Focus on breathing into your lower abdomen. Notice how it expands and contracts with each breath. Now, tune into the entire energy field inside your body. Instead of thinking about it, try to feel it. This helps shift your awareness from the mind. If it helps, use the light visualization mentioned earlier. Once you can clearly sense the inner body as a unified energy field, try to release any visual images you may have and concentrate solely on the feeling. If possible, let go of any mental images of your physical body as well. What remains is a pervasive sense of presence or beingness, and the inner body seems boundaryless. Now, go even deeper into that sensation. Fuse with it. Unite with the energy field until there's no longer a perceived separation between the observer and the observed, between you and your body. The distinction between inner and outer dissolves, and there's no inner body anymore. By delving deeply into the body, you've gone beyond it. Remain in this state of pure being for as long as it feels comfortable. When ready, reorient yourself to the physical body, your breath, and your senses. Open your eyes and observe your surroundings without mentally labeling them. Continue to feel the inner body as you do this. Accessing this formless realm is genuinely liberating. It releases you from attachment to form and the identification with it. It represents life in its undivided state before it breaks into multiplicity. You might call it the unmanifested, the invisible source of all things, the being within all beings. It's a place of profound stillness, peace, joy, and vibrant aliveness. Whenever you're present, you become somewhat transparent to the light, the pure consciousness emanating from this source. You also recognize that the light is not separate from who you are but constitutes your very essence. In the Eastern world it, it's known as Qi, the inner energy field of your body. The unmanifested serves as the source of Qi, acting as a bridge between the outer you and the source. When you reach a state of absolute stillness, vibrant with life, you transcend the inner body and Qi, connecting directly with the source, the unmanifested. Qi serves as the link between the unmanifested and the physical universe. When your focus is outward, the mind and the world emerge. When directed inward, consciousness realizes its own source and returns home to the unmanifested. Here's your spiritual practice. In your daily life, don't give all your attention to the external world and your mind. Reserve some attention within. Feel the inner body, especially during everyday activities and in relationships or connection with nature. Sense the deep stillness within it, keeping the portal open. It's possible to be aware of the unmanifested throughout your life, feeling a background sense of peace and stillness, regardless of external events. You become a bridge between the unmanifested and the manifested, between God and the world. This connected state with the source is what we refer to as enlightenment. If you're unable to sense the inner body, consider using other gateways, though they are fundamentally interconnected. One such entry point to the unmanifested is found by quieting the mind. This can begin with something simple, like taking a conscious breath or observing a flower with intense alertness, free from simultaneous mental commentary. Another portal emerges through surrender, letting go of mental emotional resistance to what is. This acts as a gateway because inner resistance isolates you from others, yourself, and the world. It reinforces the sense of separateness that the ego relies on for survival. Another powerful entry point is through silence. Can you hear the distant dog barking or the passing car? Listen closely. Can you sense the presence of the unmanifested in that? If not, look for it in the silence from which the sounds emerge and into which they fade. Direct more attention to the silence than to the sounds. Attending to outer silence generates inner silence, calming the mind and opening a portal. Every sound is born from silence, returns to silence, and is enveloped by silence during its existence. Silence is an inherent but unmanifested aspect of every sound, musical note, song, and word. The unmanifested manifests in this world is silence. 
This is why it's said that nothing in this world is as close to God as silence. All you need to do is pay attention to it. Even in a conversation, be aware of the pauses between words, the brief silent intervals between sentences. As you do this, the dimension of stillness expands within you. Focusing on silence externally leads to stillness internally. Silence outside, stillness within, you've entered the unmanifested. Let's explore the concept of space. Every physical object or body originates from nothing, is surrounded by nothing, and eventually returns to nothing. The unmanifested isn't only present in this world as silence, it permeates the entire physical universe as space, from within and without. This aspect is as easily overlooked as silence. At times, you might sense that this emptiness or nothingness isn't truly void but holds a mysterious quality. Then, your mind may attempt to turn nothing into something. The moment you define it, you've missed the essence. When scientists study space, they often make it into something, losing sight of its fundamental nature. Notably, the latest theory suggests that space isn't empty at all. It's thought to be filled with some substance. I'm providing you with pointers to help you bring the dimension of the unmanifested into your life. We're not attempting to understand it because there's nothing to grasp. Think about the essence of this room. The furniture, pictures, and other items are present, but they aren't the room. The floor, walls, and ceiling establish the room's boundary, yet they aren't the room either. So, what is the essence of the room? It's space, the empty space. Without it, there wouldn't be a room. Since space is essentially nothing, we can say that what isn't there is more crucial than what is. Avoid analyzing it. Through this, a shift in consciousness occurs within you. The reason is this, the inner counterparts to physical objects in space, like furniture or walls, are your mental objects, such as thoughts, emotions, and sensory perceptions. When you divert attention from external things, you simultaneously divert attention from your mental objects. By being aware of the empty space around you, you also become aware of the space devoid of mental activity, of pure consciousness, the unmanifested. Space and silence represent two facets of the same entity, the endlessly creative source of all existence. Unfortunately, many people are oblivious to this dimension. Due to the inherent instability of every form, individuals often live in fear. This fear leads to a profound misunderstanding of themselves and others, distorting their perception of the world. However, when you maintain a conscious connection with the unmanifested, you appreciate, love, and profoundly respect the manifested world, seeing each life form as an expression of the one life beyond form. In doing so, you've overcome the world. Lastly, it's crucial to recognize another involuntary portal that briefly opens during the time of physical death, commonly known as a near-death experience. Even if you've missed other opportunities for spiritual realization in your lifetime, this last portal becomes available immediately after the body's death. However, it opens briefly, and unless you've already encountered the dimension of the unmanifested, you might overlook it. Many people, burdened by residual resistance, fear, attachment to sensory experience, and identification with the manifested world, see the portal, turn away in fear, and then lose consciousness. Consequently, another cycle of birth and death ensues. Remember, just like with all other portals, your radiant true nature endures, nothing real is ever lost. The dissolution of the physical form presents a significant opportunity for spiritual realization. Unfortunately, this opportunity is often missed, given that our culture is largely ignorant of death and tends to overlook anything that truly matters.